now we are going to write our update query i will just write one comment update update query below this i will be creating one variable let me just write here update product query or update products is equal to if you are aware of sql then you will be having understanding on all these queries if you are not aware then also no problem i will just tell you how to write this update query first i will be using my sqli query this will be taking two parameters our connection variable and our query variable now directly inside this we are going to write the query this is our update query update table name my table name is products now don't forget to use this set keyword this is very important now what i have to set name present inside the table column name this name what i have written that is the table column name is equal to this one which variable i have created let me just copy this and inside single quotes i am just going to paste this one okay first what i have done update table name set my column name i have to set it with this name then next value we are going to separate by comma then price is equal to this price i will copy using single quotes i'm just going to paste that one first i will write dollar and i will be pasting that again i will just close with single quote again comma then i just have to display the image that is change the image image is equal to my image i will copy this product image and inside this i'm just going to paste i have set the data with new values i will be writing e update table name set my table column name with my update product name whatever i am having inside the form then price i have set and then finally i have set the image now if i write only this query and if i run this one whatever data we are having inside the database that will be updated but i do not want this one i want whichever id i have accessed only that product i have to update so here i will be writing where my table column id is equal to this id okay if my column id is equal to this one only then i have to update this product i will just write this okay now for this id we do not have to close with single quotes or double quotes it is already an integer part so this is the query update table name set all the values we have given where condition where my id column id is equal to product id which i got from the url okay this is the simple query now i have to check if my query is executed successfully or not before that while updating whatever image we have selected that image we have to upload first i'm just going to check for the condition if my update products let me come down update products if this is true then only i have to upload the image using this move uploaded file method inside this we have to pass two parameters first is our temp name comma then we have to pass our folder name our folder name we have saved inside this image folder so two variables we are passing temp name of the image as well as folder name once our image is uploaded now i have to display the message i will just write here echo and inside this i'm just going to write product updated then else i will just write echo error save this okay later on we are changing this display message stylings as well i will come now i'm just going to refresh this okay an expected token on line 18 let me just check for this error on line 18 okay i have to put semicolon okay don't forget to put semicolon or else we will be getting the errors 
save i will come here now again i'm just going to refresh i will just write laptop one price i will change it to eleven thousand. choose file okay better i'm just going to write here headphone choose file i will select this headphones open as soon as i click on update product the data is also displayed because i have displayed the data and here i am having updated so let me just comment it out this one also i will save now as the product is updated i will come to view products now you can see instead of laptop i am having this headphone name is also displayed and also price is also displayed this laptop data itself i have updated now when i click on this all the data related to that headphone will be displayed now you can see uh, this spelling is wrong i will just change headphone now let me just change it to 12000 i will select the same image select open update now you can see here i am having updated product updated view products now this is changed headphone and also price is changed and when i still hover on this this id remains 10 you can see below i am having id is equal to 10 again when i click on this this id remains the same the existing product itself we have updated okay i hope you are clear with updating the product first we have to get the product from the database once we have the product we have to display that product data inside the form then we have to write the update query to update the product and whatever updation we have done that will be stored inside the database it is not only limited here if i just open this open database i will open my products table okay let it load products table inside this also you can see the data is updated my image name is stored but id remains same again if you want you can just update this one now i'll give year quotes price let me just give here 20000 choose file year quotes open update product product updated successfully as soon as product is updated you can see that new product data is displayed you can see year code image and also data and price everything now inside database also if i just refresh you can see the data is changed so this is how we are going to update the products next we are just going to see how to display the message